Hey. Oh, you got them. Yeah, you got them hooked. Stupid birds. Ugh. came out pretty easy. We didn't it wasn't under the skin anywhere. Uh-oh. There we go. You got yep. That was a nice nice big attack. That was a big attack. Not a huge fish, but probably a 14. Yeah, real good strike. Yep. Well, that starts our fishing day. This is only, it's about a 14 inch fish on top water. Not, uh, fish aren't where we, where I thought they'd be this morning, but that's okay. We're going to move until we find them, but that's a good start. So hang with us. We should have a good day out here. And another hit on Don, so this looks like we've got some fish action. Right now I'm ahead to over here because I think that's a four horseman cork. There's a bunch of pogies popping here. So this is a this is a deal when when it's calm conditions like this. And with this boat at least. I can go right up on the rocks and pick that $8 cork <laughs> off the water. Yep, it's a, a legit four horseman cork. go. Come on, don't get in the crab trap. Ah. Now he's off of it. This is a good fish. This is a good, this is better than the other one for sure. Uh, do I need a net? This is a good fish. About an 18, probably. Is this a 20? Uh, he's a close to. He's gonna be 19 at least, maybe 18. Nice fish. There's an 18 and a half on that Berkeley Cane Walker top water. Beautiful fish. Fought like a bowl, hit like a train. I think she's okay. Not bleeding. Not too much. Ah, man. Big strike again. Aggressive strike. Not a lot of responses with this bait. When I've used it, and it's been, so I keep tying it on. There, I got that one. I can keep it out of that crab trap. Are, are you? This is a decent fish. It's not one of the tiny ones. Decent fish. Yeah, it's about a 16 maybe. Oh yeah. All right, there's another 16 on that top water. They're really aggressive. You know, we're catching these top water strikes are hitting in like 10, over 10 foot of water. They're not up on the bank. They're not in shallow water. 
So apparently these fish are suspended. They might be down three, four feet and they're coming up to the surface and hitting that top water really aggressively. So this is the top water that they're really responding to this morning. It's a Berkeley cane walker. It's got that popper front on it. You can walk it like a dog. And uh, it's been very effective. I keep tying it on because it, it's the last, oh, the last month because I keep getting good good responses from it. There's one. There's a fish. What do I got? What? What do I got here? Oh, it must be a redfish. No, it's the Cutter 90. That'd be great. Eight pound trout. In it. Yeah. Now I got a crab trap and a redfish. <laughs> this is gonna be a mess. Oh, something popped. I think he's off. He's off. Yeah, definitely gonna need a net. <laughs> this is a big one. I'd like to get my bait back. Yeah, I know, that's the number one thing. Maybe I'm gonna have to tighten my drag a little bit. I have it pretty loose. Well, that's a whopper. War day. Whooping down. Stay figures eight head down you got that nose down yes thank you you got that nose down Whew. that's a whopper 28 incher bought really hard just had my drag loaf loose pretty loose for a while but it was not coming in easy So unfortunately our top water bite, which was really good, didn't last very long. It only lasted about 10 minutes and then it died off. But the wind really picked up over that period of time also. So we're just trying to reorient ourselves to the new situation with the trout. Obviously that redfish came in on a jerk bait. Uh, but haven't had any responses yet from trout with the jerk bait, so we'll have to figure it out. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> yeah, I got one. So that was a 12 incher, 12 or 13. Hey, awesome. That was pretty fast. All right, on the Elmino, Missouri. <laughs> Good Man, fish. That's not as, huh? That's male. I've got him broken. Okay. Male fish. Listen. Yeah. I've got an L minnow, but it's smaller than that. I might have not have. It might not be an exact L minnow. We're still at it. We had that early morning, mostly top water bite, and since then that died when the wind came up. And since then we've been struggling, getting a few bites, almost like getting hits, but not non-committals. So we're not getting fish in, getting a couple of fish in, but uh, the, the, the trout do seem to be here. They're just not feeding. And you know, that's com probably a combination of things. So we're just trying to work it slow, see if we can find any kind of pattern with any kind of bait trying a bunch of different kinds of baits, different retrieves, to see if we can get some kind of action going.
There's one. Yeah. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, why don't we get the net? You want to see that mouth? Yeah, but it's in the shape. Man, that was a hit. Oh, oh, whoa. Did you see that? Oh my God, I hope I can get this in. Oh, you got it. These are little hooks, man. This is a 20 plus here. This is a 20 plus. Come on, baby. Yeah, it's, maybe it's a 20. Bad, ain't she? But I mean, she jumped totally out of the water. Yes. Oh man. That's definitely a 20. Yeah. 21, 22. So that is a pretty 21 inch trout. Going back in. Had to revive her. Well, you got your. Uh, oh. You got your one for release over 20. Yeah. That was a little bit rough. <laughs> too long. <laughs> took too long to get it. It's a terrible hook set for her. Well, it was never. It was two hooks, sort of the opposite ways, trying to get that out and then stuck in the net. But she made it. Yeah, I think she'll be okay. So this is the bait I caught that 21 incher on. She hit that, she had a really good hook set. I ended up breaking off one, one of the rear trebles just to get her out and get her back in the water. Looks like she swam off, she kicked hard and swam off. So hopefully she'll be fine. It took a while to get her unhooked though. But that's the C series, CI series, 17 MR from Miradine, uh, Miradine Miralur, and uh, in this trout color. So it's it's been effective bait today. I get the most hits of any bait on that. Well, I thought maybe there'd be some trout around those submerged rocks. Oh, there's a trout. Oh, I got him. Oh, this is a nice one. Woo. This is another good fish. Oh, watch out, watch out. he's gone. That was a release over 20. Look at that. Lure ended up in my, right in my pants. He was coming so fast. I should have waited for the net, but yeah, the net was right there. I was just thinking. Ah. Uh, I didn't know I had the thing. It had the bait. I could see the fish. I thought they did a hit and uh, and just then dropped it or something. I mean, there there's so much surface water that who knows? Oh yeah, that's a good one. You want a net? I don't know. I didn't see how big it is. Not super big, but might be bigger than we think. Oh, wow, wrong. So I'll give you a little bit of inside information. Uh, the gentleman who is the lead with the most releases over 20 in Louisiana is Chad Gomes, and he is, he's been catching a lot of fish on that 17 MR. Uh, so that's a little bit of interesting news, which may be a value. He's really the one, the reason I'm fishing that 17 MR, because that's not a bait that I've traditionally fished. It just always seems so small. Um, but as you can see, that 21 inch hit it very well. I mean, I, I think the struggle is to get it in with the small hooks, but that one was hooked so well, it was like, you know, cross hooked inside the mouth. I had to break off a hook to get her released. Uh, but she's going into the release over 20, which gives me, I would have had one in February, one in March, and now one in April. So uh, I'll try to see if I can get over one per month would be a nice improvement. And if you haven't joined the crowd uh, that are putting the release, the over 20 trout on release over 20, you should, it's fun. You can go there, you can see your name entry, you can see who the other people in Louisiana are who are catching them. 
uh, it's fun. Oh, oh, wow, hammered this one. This is a, this is maybe a redfish though, but it's a, oh, it's a trout. It's not a really huge one, is it? Eater. Yeah, that's a nice trout. There comes another one in, nice 16 incher again on that little 17. There are trout out here, we're finding them. Spotty. They, yeah, spotty, scattered. Uh, we get hits that we don't get fish. We've gotten a lot more hits than fish. So, but that one took it very well. We did come into though a major feeding period for the next, it'll be probably next hour and a half. and it, this is when we caught the bigger fish since uh, since that kicked in. So that may help us. We may we may see a ramp up in activity yet. There's one. Wow, they're so infrequent. This is a as a keeper. That's not actually that bad. That's not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Thanks for sticking around. It was a decent day, even though the trout are really scattered this month. That pattern continues. But uh, if you keep working it and you're in the right spot, you keep working, working, you can come up with some trout. The, the bite really seems, they, they do seem to be there, but they're not really ready to, to bite and to, to feed heavily. And so it's a strange time. We did manage some nice sized trout though, so I call that a good day. So catch me on my next one.